For some time, it's been widely known that Denis Villeneuve has intended to finish his trilogy of Dune films with a third movie based on Frank Herbert's sequel novel, Dune Messiah. In fact, Dune 3 has been confirmed by Legendary Pictures to be in development, working with Denis Villeneuve to ensure they have a suitable script before they look to greenlight production. However, it's now being reported that Warner Brothers is looking to make a controversial move that could very well upset both the director and Legendary, potentially dissuading them from moving forward with Dune 3. The newest rumors indicate that WB is looking to release Dune Part 2 on its Mac streaming service soon after it's been in theaters for the required minimum 45 days after release. This means the movie could be available to stream as early as the middle of April, which would most certainly hamstring its continuing box office success. In this video, I'd like to cover what we know about Warner Brothers' plans for Dune Part 2 and how this might threaten the future of Villeneuve's Dune trilogy. I'd like to start by providing a little historical context. All the way back in 2020, after it was announced that Doom Part 1 would be a part of a slate of films that would get a simultaneous day and date release in theaters and on HBO Max, Villeneuve was furious. In an exclusive from Variety, he slammed the studio, saying, With this decision, AT&T has hijacked one of the most respectable and important studios in film history. There is absolutely no love for cinema, nor for the audience here. It is all about the survival of a telecom mammoth, one that is currently bearing an astronomical debt of more than $150 billion. Therefore, even though Dune is about cinema and audiences, AT&T is about its own survival on Wall Street. With HBO Max's launch a failure thus far, AT&T decided to sacrifice Warner Brothers' entire 2021 slate in a desperate attempt to grab the audience's attention. This sacrifice of Warner's 2021 films also prompted renowned director Christopher Nolan to voice his opinion as well, saying, Some of our industry's biggest filmmakers and most important movie stars went to bed the night before thinking they were working for the greatest movie studio and woke up to find out they were working for the worst streaming service. Warner Brothers had an incredible machine for getting a filmmaker's work out everywhere, both in theaters and in the home, and they are dismantling it as we speak. This decision by Warner Brothers also led to a public spat and falling out with their partner, Legendary Pictures, who put up some 80% of the production budget for both Dune Parts 1 and 2. This falling out occurred along with rumors and threats of legal action for breach of contract. Thereafter, Legendary went on to sign a multi-year agreement with Sony. Now, with the latest reports regarding Warner's intention with Dune Part 2, it seems that history could be set to repeat itself. According to a Forbes article, various sources, including online monitor When to Stream and suggestions from international distributors, indicate that the movie could be available on streaming platforms by mid-April. This aligns with the typical 45-day period from a film's theatrical debut to digital release that Max has generally adhered to. Considering Villeneuve's vehement stance against Warner's decision for a day-and-date release of Doom Part 1, the potential release of Doom Part 2 on Max, while it's still in theaters, is speculated as a possible motivation for Villeneuve to abandon his plans for Dune 3. However, it's important to note that these reports haven't been officially confirmed by the studio. The only formal announcement regarding streaming was made during a fourth quarter earnings call in which Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav stated that Doom Part 2 is set to premiere on Max in the spring of 2024. Many are hoping that Warner Brothers will choose to postpone the streaming release, similar to what it did with Barbie in 2023. Having passed the $600 million mark worldwide, the film is already considered to be a financial success, and the numbers indicate that it's not likely to see a steep decline anytime soon. Therefore, keeping Doom Part 2 off of streaming until it finishes its theatrical run would undoubtedly result in a significantly larger box office haul. However, it's clear that Volnov prioritizes artistic integrity over box office numbers, as he's more concerned by what these kinds of moves indicate about the studio's lack of respect for the art of cinema and their refusal to protect the theatrical experience, which he has referred to as a vital cultural medium. Perhaps what is the most concerning to fans is the potential impact that Warner Brothers' decision could have on the future of the Dune franchise. In December of 2023, Villeneuve said that, quote, 
Dune Messiah is being written right now. The screenplay is almost finished, but it is not finished. It will take a little time. There's a dream of making a third movie. It would make absolute sense to me. However, considering the director's commitment to safeguarding the integrity, legacy, and cultural and spiritual impact of cinema, Warner Brothers' apparent disregard for these principles could potentially diminish his desire to work with them again. Beyond Villeneuve's own feelings about the cultural value of the theatrical experience, general audiences also recognize Dune Part II as a grand cinematic achievement. This film's epic scale and the unparalleled theatrical experience it offers further justify a prolonged exclusive run in theaters. Of all the films that deserve to be seen on the big screen, Dune Part 2 is certainly at the top. The potential early release of Dune Part 2 by Warner on streaming platforms also threatens to have even greater effects on the already struggling theater industry, which has been grappling with the repercussions of extended closures due to the pandemic and delays in the film industry from the 2023 writers and actors strikes. For that reason, increasingly rare cinematic marvels like Dune Part 2 play a vital role in drawing more casual moviegoers back to the big screen, serving as the catalyst for rejuvenating a struggling industry. If Warner Brothers opts for an early streaming release, it would prove to undermine these recovery efforts. Additionally, it's especially important for older films to extend their theatrical runs, as cinemas see an increased percentage from ticket sales the longer a film is screened. Consequently, this places studios in charge of distribution like Warner Brothers at the heart of crucial decisions that could either bolster the theater industry or hinder its resurgence. Along with the reports about Warner's desire to rush the film to streaming, as I've covered in a recent video, Legendary Pictures and Villeneuve have recently shifted their tone in discussing the potential third film. CEO of Legendary Entertainment, Josh Grode, recently spoke to CNBC revealing a few specific qualifiers for Dune 3 to be greenlit, saying, We have to have all creative stakeholders aligned and support the vision. I think everybody is very excited and really enjoying this moment, and if Denis Villeneuve gets the script right and he feels that he can deliver another experience on par with what we've just completed, then I don't see why not. Villeneuve mirrored these sentiments in a recent interview with Empire Magazine, saying, First, make sure that we have a strong screenplay. The thing I want to avoid is not having something ready. I never did it, and now I feel it could be dangerous because of the enthusiasm. We need to make sure all the ideas are on paper. If we go back, it needs to be real. It needs to be relevant. If ever I do Dune Messiah, it's because it's going to be better than part two. Otherwise, I don't do it. These comments from Legendary and Villeneuve reveal a more cautious approach in moving forward. Considering their rocky past, it stands to reason that Warner Brothers would certainly be treading on dangerously thin ice with both of the aforementioned parties if it were to hamstring the box office of Dune Part 2. While these reports and comments could very well be a bargaining tactic, they contribute to an uncertain atmosphere where Warner Brothers is on the verge of jeopardizing the prospects for Villeneuve's Dune Messiah. It's my sincere hope that they recognize the importance of allowing Dune Part 2 to reach its full theatrical potential, to honor and respect the director's wishes, and take actions to safeguard and ensure the ongoing success of Dune as a cinematic franchise. But I'm curious to know what you think of these reports about Warner Brothers' desire to move Dune Part 2 to streaming so early. Do you think this decision would threaten the prospects for Dune 3? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe for more Dune and other sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. And if you're looking for other ways to show your appreciation, you can check out my Patreon page, where members get access to exclusive content and perks. Thank you all so much for your support. And as always, have a very nerdy day.